A float with Henry Morgan. After the sacking of Santa Paula, Jeffrey Hunter manages to convince Captain Henry Morgan that he was innocent of doing any harm towards him. Finding a Spanish fleet waiting at the mouth of the river, Morgan sends a fire ship in amongst them, disperses them, and so makes his escape. Later on, he tells Jeffrey Hunter that he's had information relating to the treasure which is being held in Panama City. As he intends to sack the city, he wishes Jeffrey to go to Cuba and learn the movements of the Spanish fleet which is assembling there and preparing to sail around the horn to load the treasure. Back in Port Royal, Sir Thomas Motford warns Morgan that he's been ordered to entirely suppress the buccaneers, but Morgan laughs at his threats. In Cuba, in Havana, Don Pietro Pizarro, the governor, decides that as Antoinette de Lacy has served her purpose, she is to be sold as a slave in the marketplace. That is an excellent idea, Dolores. Why, I'd completely forgotten the girl's very existence until you reminded me at this moment. Ah, she is of no further use to us. She is very beautiful and should bring a high price. The sales are in three days' time, Father. Very well, then, Dolores. She will be auctioned with the others on that day. Hey, what is it that you're looking at, Dolores? From this window, Father, you can see the ships in the harbor. There are a great many of them. Never in my life have I known so many of them to be assembled at once in the harbor. Mm, they are a fine-looking lot, are they not? But Dolores, they are a great responsibility. I'll be indeed glad when they leave Cuban waters, and I shall be a lot happier still when they are safely back in Spain. What are they assembling for? When they are all ready, they leave for Panama City, sailing around the Horde. Panama City has been collecting treasures for too long. We feel it is not safe for them to be kept in this part of the world any longer. So they are going back to Spain. It will be the biggest armada of treasure ships that Spain ever had on the sea at the one time. With Morgan still at large, I will not rest until I hear that the ships have rounded the horn and are safely back in Spain. Oh, why did our plan to trap him have to fail? Not only did we lose him, but we lost many of our finest ships. The next time, Father, we make sure that Henry Morgan is not cleverer than us. If only we could know where the devil intends to strike next. And if only I could lay my hands on one of his men just for a little while. One of his men who know all his plans. Then it would make a great difference. And this time I cannot help you. Even if I were free to go back to Jamaica, Jeffrey Hunter is dead. And even if he were alive, it would be no good because I destroyed all the trust that Morgan once had in him. No, 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 no. You cannot help me this time. Oh, but how I would like to help you, Father. How I should like to relive all those moments of excitement that I felt when I was in Jamaica. We had the opportunity to trap Henry Morgan Deloitte, and we missed that chance. We can just hope that the fates will give us another chance. No good you're looking out into the blackness of night anymore now, Hero. The ship has sailed away, swallowed up in the dark. Yes, Master Jeffrey. We're mighty long way from friends now. I reckon we're just by ourselves, all alone in a strange country. In a country about which we know nothing. Every man on the island of Cuba is only too willing to betray us, Hero. We have arrived. The future of our very lives depends upon our own two selves. I was mighty scared, Mr. Jeffrey. I didn't want you to risk your life by coming with me, you know, Hero, but you insisted. I sure did, Mr. Jeffrey. For you see, wherever you goes, I gotta go too. I just ain't got no choice. <laughs> well now, do you remember everything that I told you? I sure do. Well, before we set off in the direction of Havana. Let's go over it all once again. Until we leave the shores of Cuba, I am Mynheer Van Luc, a gem merchant from Amsterdam, who has come out here to Cuba in the hope of trading precious stones. I remember. You, hero, are my servant. 
Unfortunately, through an affliction at birth, you've lost the power of speech. Remember, if you once should open your mouth and speak in public, you'll jeopardize our very lives. When we're both alone, make sure there's no one around to overhear us. And always speak to me in a low tone, hero. I sure will remember all that you've told me to do, Master Jeffrey. I won't forget. All right. Oh, come on now, Hero. Let's pick up our traps and make towards the city of Havana. We want to reach there before daybreak. And then, when it gets to be a respectable hour, we must look around for suitable lodgings, somewhere quiet and inconspicuous. Where do you think you would be likely to find us lodgings, Master Jeffrey? Well, I don't exactly know, Hero. I think it will be best if we go near the docks. That's where the sailors will be gathering. And that's where I'm most likely to pick up any news regarding the movements of the Spanish fleet. Oh, come on, Hero. We're quite some distance from Havana, and daylight is not so very far off. Why, Kitty, what's this? You have not eaten your roll or drunk your coffee, Kitty. What's wrong with you? I don't want it. Why don't you want it? Tell me, Kitty. You eat nothing these days. What's the matter with you? There's nothing the matter with me, Dutz. Does my not eating displease you? Hmm. I wish you would do something to displease me sometimes, Kitty. Then I'd know that you were alive again. You know what? I always thought you were a woman of fire. And now you're just a milk and water wench. Yes, Dutz. No, Dutz. Yeah, I'm getting sick of you, Kitty. Sick and tired. Then it's your own fault. Of what use is my fighting? You've beaten me, Diaz, and... Well, there's just nothing I can do now. No, that's not right. You think that by becoming a willing slave to me, you've beaten me, don't you, huh? You think that by being demure and, and lacking fire, you'll anger me. But you're wrong, Kitty. You're wrong, you see. I've just grown tired of you. And I feel I don't want to see you ever again. You know what is likely to happen to you, don't you? Oh, no. But you couldn't be so cruel, Dad. You, you wouldn't sell me in a slave market. Why not sell you in the slave market? You mean nothing to me anymore. In a little while, I'll be sailing away. I've not told you that little piece of news yet, have I? Don Pietro has given me command of one of his ships to sail to Panama City. I've waited a long time, Kitty. I'll probably find other things to interest me when I come back. And when are you going away? The ships will sail in eight days' time. And and you're going away and, and leaving me a, a stranger, not knowing a soul? Oh, I bet you'll know somebody else by then, Kitty. I told you. I'm sick of the sight of you. I'm going to sell you in the slave market in two days' time. Seems comfortable enough, Hero. It sure is, Nessa Jeffrey. Uh, but what are you going to do now? Today I'm going to wander around the dockside taverns. I'm going to try and pick up all the information that I can get from the sailors. Do you think, Nessa Jeffrey, you can learn all you want to know from the sailors? I don't know, Hero. I, I can't but try. In any case, I wish to become familiar with the city of Havana. I think I can afford to waste a day learning all I can about it. You never know, it might be useful. It sure might be. Especially if they should grow suspicious and we have to hide any time. And should I be unable to learn anything to my advantage today, I will tomorrow set about doing so in earnest. And uh, what are you going to do tomorrow? You know, I think I'll bluff my way into seeing the man who must know all the movements of the Spanish fleet. There's men here, Van Lucre, a gym merchant from Amsterdam... I will call upon the governor of Cuba, Don Pietro Pizarro. This information that you bring to me, my Herr Van Luke, 
It is most interesting. Of course, Don Pietro, you understand that I'm only interested in the very best stones. <laughs> the Cuba is my first port of call. Well, then, my hair, you would certainly come to the right place. It will be an honor indeed to do business with you. It is a pity, though, that a lot of gems will not be coming back to Cuba. My hair, do you see that fleet of ships down there in the harbor? I have noticed them. Well, those ships are preparing right now to sail to Panama City. You see, my hair, the city of Panama is just bulging over with treasures. That fleet of ship will be taking that treasure back to Spain. But, of course, they will not be coming back here to Cuba. They will cross the Pacific Ocean. That's very unfortunate, Don Pietro. Will they be sailing soon? Perhaps it will be possible for me to get a passenger for the ship. into the very jaws of the lion. Listen to the consequence of this dramatic meeting in the next exciting episode of Afloat with Henry Morgan.